We've got a trooper on the ground and that is never a good sign. Let's take a look at how we got here and break this one down. It all starts with a pedestrian on the freeway, illegal in most states including Minnesota. Normally it's a very easy call for police. You just give them a courtesy ride to the nearest service station or to a place that's safe. But as you know, this, this call is going to be far from easy. And the first hint of something weird about this is the pedestrian is actually walking away from the nearest gas station. The gas station or service station is actually behind him. Within 7 to 10 minutes or so, our first trooper arrives on scene to help the pedestrian get to a safer location. Our pedestrian, now looking cool as a cucumber, takes one final swig of his drink. He's been walking for over a mile by now. And reading the body language, it seems the pedestrian wants to keep walking down the freeway. And it seems like the individual in question starts walking away from the trooper, and he's coming up to a big interchange here. So the trooper, <laughs> to protect everyone's safety, is going to step between him and that interchange that's coming up because there's a, a big on-ramp between I-694 and I-35W in the North Metro. So he's going to stop him from just walking into traffic or crossing the freeway on-ramp here. And any parent or school teacher knows this expression, as you can see him pointing and saying, Why can't I? Why can't you just let me do what I want? And he's going to give a little shrug here, the kind of, uh, you're not in charge of me, uh, I'm going to do what I want. And here the, the, the officer is telling him no, and you can see he moves back like, what? You're going to tell me no? And this is where we kind of get to adult coping skills. Uh, you want to... <laughs> You want to, as an adult, develop the skills to handle rejection, to handle someone telling you no, you can't do what you want. Anyway, here's the moment uh, you can see the trooper there reaching for his radio, asking for a second unit. 14 Metro, can you serve me a partner? We get a little obstructed by the sign, but thankfully we have another angle. Our individual is going to try to walk away again and get the same answer. And this is where things go hands on. It looks like he reaches out at the trooper, and this is the point where the trooper has just had decided he's had enough. And he's going to be east on 694 at W. We've got the exclusive dispatch audio. We'll let that play out. Metro's helping out 14. He's going to be with 1-1. One, one. going to be pushed up against the squad. Trooper's down on the ground wrestling. 433 traffic. Special thanks to the dispatcher who was very aware of the situation and on the radio and manipulating the cameras at the same time. Now, I want to be fair to the suspect in this case. At no point does he strike the officer, and I, I want to be explicit about this. He's also not accused of striking the officer. So this looks more like a matter of a bear hug as opposed to a street fight. As a rule of thumb, we actually don't publish street fights. That's the policy that we have here. Now, you saw the taser out. We did confirm the taser was never deployed. Uh, the individual gave up and was taken into custody without injury, thankfully, without anyone being injured, and no taser deployed in this instance. But importantly, you don't have to take my word for it or the police's word for it because we actually have a third angle on this incident and take a look. It provides a third angle and the benefit of some of these DOT cameras in Minnesota, of which there's about 1,100 of them, is they do provide a good sense for transparency in government and to allow citizens to see what's really happening out there. So, credit to the Minnesota Department of Transportation for providing this network for the citizens of Minnesota. Again, you can see it's really more of a scuffle. The officer thinks about tasing the suspect, but he gives up, and we were able to confirm, again, no taser deployment. And if you look at the ground, actually, um, when a taser goes off, it, it bursts a bunch of confetti. You can actually see on the ground, uh, thanks to the, <laughs> the definition of these cameras, there's no confetti around. And so that's a way that we can independently confirm no taser deployed in this situation. The suspect was arrested on charges of obstruction, failed to obey a lawful order, possession of drug paraphernalia, and pedestrians prohibited on the highway. Next time, just let them give you a ride off the freeway. If you like this video, we have another video of a pedestrian causing complete chaos on the morning commute. Like, subscribe, don't miss out.